Welcome you all. Again, I shall start the homologous translocation. I already depicted to you about the aberration due to change in the gene arrangement. In that context, I explained inversion and also be differentiated pericentric inversion and paracentric inversion. Then I explain you about the translocation and in that context I also depicted to you about the homologous translocation and heterologous translocation in briefly to you. Now I shall explain you the homologous translocation in detail. The heading of the topic is in here, homologous translocation. In that context, you see the story one chromosome. Chromosome is known as the carrier of the genes, which one carries some genes. Genes are linearly arranged on it. Here, I placed nine number of genes in one chromosome. And these genes will be arranged likely in linear manner like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, R. At the place of the E, you find the centromere. This is the position of the centromere. This is the position of centromere. Okay. And you mark both the sides. It is one arm, it is another arm. Okay, but the portion, the your G, H, I, this containing segment comes under the translocation and snatched from the distal part of the chromosomal body to the foremost part of the chromosome. This is the distal portion, this is the apical portion. This portion or fragment would be shifted towards the anteriormost part of the same chromosome. And that would be remain at the apical region like G, H, I. Then you find the continuous of the, your segments like A, B, C, D, E, F, R, G. This type of your translocation is called as homologous translocation. Homologous translocation is nothing. It is the shifting of a chromosome segment to a new location. It is one location, it is another location. This location is called as your new location. This location is called as your new location. You mark here and this is the one, another location. This is the old location. Okay? And this one is the new location. Okay? Its locality will be changed in there. Due to change of the location, automatically you can say that is called as homologous translocation. Okay? And here, Find the syndrome here. Okay. And you find in the same group, which is that one. And this is called as transposition. It would be otherwise named as transposition. Called as transposition. This type of translocation, otherwise called as transposition. Homologous, your translocation, otherwise called as transposition. Okay? You see, and this is the your shifting segment. This one is the shifting in here. Okay? The shifting segments. It is shifted here. Shifting process. 
the segment which one sit there that is called sifting segment this is called as your sifting segment sifting segment okay and this should be change its position from old location to new location due to change of the position that is called as transposition okay again listen about the homologous translocation it is the shifting of a chromosome segment to a new location within the same chromosome this is also called your transposition okay what is it this is also called transposition let us know about your homologous translocation homologous translocation after to know the homologous translocation let us to know about the heterologous translocation heterologous translocation heterologous translocation heterologous translocation translocation this is called as here heterologous Translocation, which one generally is shifting the segments from the one chromosome to the another chromosomal body, which is not identical in shape, that is heterologous forms. Okay, in case this type of shifting from the one regular homologous chromosome to another dissimilar chromosomal body or heterologous chromosomal body that is called as a heterologous translocation let us see in detail about it you see the picture in here first then you can connect the knowledge this is the chromosome and before you state it in my example i will keep nine what genes from a to i and you see these are the This is the A, this is the B, the C, the D, E, F, G, H. This is the chromosome. This is the chromosome one. Chromosome two. And this one is the chromosome two. This one is considered as chromosome two. in the r you find 1 okay in the r you also find 9 number six they will be like s t u t w x y this is the chromosome chromosome what that is okay and you mark there this chromosome to generally shifting some genes as segment man from here to this okay and it would be shifting in here this segment will be shifting in there okay this chromosome generally shifting the some genes as segment from it to the another one which are heterologous and this one also shifted 
RST genes with fragment to the former one or first promoting one. Okay, and this type of transition or uh, your translocation must be called as your part reciprocal part the heterologous translocation that is called as reciprocal that is called as reciprocal heterologous hetero logus translocation okay that is translocation short name i wrote here here translocation okay and you mark here and it is the shifting of the chromosome segment to a non homologous chromosome and first variety is known as your reciprocal in reciprocal in this the equal size of segments are exchanged between the two non homologous chromosomes chromosome 1 and chromosome 2 these are non homologous chromosomes non homologous chromosomes non homologous homologous homo Okay, and this is called as heterologous translocation. But this variety is known as reciprocal variety. Reciprocal heterologous translocation. Okay, and you see in this only equal size segments are exchanged between two non-homologous chromosomes. You see on the pictures. And here you find chromosome 1, here you, you find the chromosome 2. These are the non homologous chromosomes. And the segment here, this segment will be changed to this place. Lastly, in aberration, I explained you about the heterologous translocation on non reciprocal. I already explained about the heterologous translocation to you in the last class. It is the shifting of a chromosome segment to a non-homologous chromosome. Okay, that is called as your heterologous translocation. Heterologous translocation can be studied in two ways. Reciprocal heterologous translocation. Other one is called as non-reciprocal heterologous translocation okay now i shall explain you about the non but reciprocal heterologous translocation in this context you people know what is the non reciprocal non reciprocal n o n hyphen r e c i p r o c a l non reciprocal that means they will not be exchanged in between the two different chromosomes Two heterologous chromosomes. Only one chromosome generally but donate the segment to the one non but the your homologous chromosome that means that is called heterologous chromosome and that type of exchange is known as your non reciprocal heterologous translocation. Okay, listen regarding of it. First, I shall explain in the words to you. There may be no exchange between the non-homologous chromosomes, but only a shift from one linkage group to the other linkage group takes place. You see here, and you find and this portion of the chromosome one. You see here, which one generally comprising the genes GHR in this segment. That will be shifted towards the chromosome 2. And chromosome 2 is not equivalent with the chromosome 1 in structure, in cell, or in size. Okay, and that is the one heterologous one. And this one generally is shifting a segment which one carries GHI towards the chromosome 2. 
and then this fragment would be shifted from A. Secondly, it will be connecting with the next chromosome, and you see A, B, C, D, E F remain in there. G, H, L, I already separated from it and also connecting at the but apical region of this chromosome. And that chromosome which one later you found that is G, H, I, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. In there you find twelve number of genes, and this type of exchange is called a zero non-reciprocal heterologous per transfer case. Okay, and you mark here there may be no exchange between the non-homologous chromosomes, but only shift from one linkage group to the other linkage group takes place only. Okay, only the one chromosome. Generally, donate a segment which one carries some genes from it to the other one. Okay, and that type of exchange in between two, two different but types of chromosomes or het your heterologous chromosomes. Okay, and that is called as specifically non-reciprocal heterologous but translocation. Okay, and here I completed the aberration. Due to change in the gene arrangement. Thank you all.